boat is in Dublin because it's SOF 2012 and Dublin City of Science and the head of the expeditions we just did, Tara Ocean. Eric Carsanti will be talking at SOF and AMI, based on UCD, I've been involved in that expedition for the next, uh, for the last three years. For me, that was the first time I can, uh, got out of my lab into doing the expedition I dreamed of, you know, these Darwin things you hear during your studies and you never do because you're a cell biologist and you do microscopy in your lab. Doing an expedition around, around the world need to have access to everybody water, so you need permits, and you need a boat which can do that for three years. Usually nobody would give you a boat for three years. It's a fashion designer, Agnès B, and he's lending Tara to scientists. So she pays for the crew, she lends you the boat, and you do your science. So it's a partnership which is exceptional and which is amazing. If you want to have a fish, it needs to feed on something which needs to feed on something, so it's at the top. So below one fish, you have 10,000 species you cannot see. The oxygen we breathe came from the ocean and was made by phytoplankton. So without the phytoplankton, no oxygen. So, for example, all the cliff of doors is made of plankton. The oil we burn is made out of plankton. So those things are essential for the way Earth works in general. So we try to collect at every depth and we try to collect at every size. So we try to see viruses, but also bacteria, up to fish larvae. Because those are the invisible parts we would like to take pictures of to identify them, to understand what they are, and to compare their genome data, their DNA data as well. We know about the fishes, we know about the dolphin, but the invisible parts of life, which is responsible for CO2 capture, for oxygen release, is unknown or very limited in knowledge. It's 70% of a surface which are oceans plus all the depth it's the largest bio top on earth and we need to know how it works especially now in terms of change